Hey, what's up guys? Mike at Red Fox here. Uh, today we're going to talk about what I think the biggest mistake miners make when calculating their break even. All right, so if you're not familiar with the term break even, otherwise known as ROI or ROII, that's return on investment or return on initial investment, is the amount of time it will take through mining for me to make back the money that I put in to purchasing the cards, the rig, all the accessories, whatever it is. How long is it going to take me to make back all that money? If you're watching this, uh, many of you know that cryptocurrency has its ups and its downs, and, and that amount of time can certainly change. What we're going to do today is look at our current situation and factor in one of the things that I think most people forget, and that's that the cards are going to have resale value. So we're going to talk about break even while taking into account the asset you will have, the GPU, and what the resale value of that will be in a future time. So let's get started here in my spreadsheet. Hopefully you guys know I like spreadsheets by now. We're going to build a rig and the rig we're going to build is a six by 3060 Ti rig. It's my new favorite card. Please check out my video on its performance um, that I posted uh, just a little bit ago. So here's the prices I will pay for that card. None of this includes taxes. The price I would pay for all the rest of the components to build this rig, and that will give me a total for this rig up front of $2,600. And when you would talk about classic break even, that is the money that I need to make back. But today, what we're going to take into account is the fact that this hardware, and for today's discussion, these GPUs will have a future resale value. This is the great thing about GPU mining. You will be able to sell these graphics cards later. They will hold a value one year, two years, three years, even four years down the line. My three-year-old 1070 Ti's, I can sell for $300 on eBay right now. So I'm pretty conservative thinking that for this discussion a year from today, I'll be able to sell this 3060 Ti or these six for $300 each. It's pretty conservative in my opinion, but that's a number that we're gonna stick with. So if you don't know, these cards performance wise will hash at 61 mega hash per second on Ethereum and consume about 120 watts. Uh, and that's the information we're gonna utilize as we go through today. So. Let's go through our cost breakdown. My upfront cost, we know, $2,600. If we take into account the resale value of just the GPUs, the resale value of all six, that's 300 times six, will be $1,800. And you can see already that's gonna give me $800 that I need to make up. That's my break even number when we take into account the resale value of the cards. Here, I've entered in my electric rate. Yours will be different. I'm gonna do a video on how to calculate that soon. So please stay tuned for that. It'll be a quick one. And then we're gonna put in the wattage that this rig will use. I know these cards use about 120 watts. And I also know that uh, the rig itself, all the components will use about 30 watts. So that gives me 750 total rig wattage, okay? That's the information that I need in order to move forward and do some calculations. The thing we need to enter now is the actual Ethereum price. So let's go check it out. We're going to use Coin360 here. And we're going to see that Ethereum is currently at, we'll say, $642. So let's go ahead and enter that into the spreadsheet. And then we've got to figure out how much Ethereum we're going to make per day with this rig. So to do that, we're going to utilize what to mine. Let's go ahead and click on Ethereum. Um, and let's do some math here. So I know that these cards will do 61 mega hash each. So we'll times that by six. So that gives me 366 mega hash. And we're going to use that 750 watts. Let's go ahead and enter my electricity rate. And let's hit calculate. So right here, you can see my daily estimated rewards for how much Ethereum I'll be taking in. Let's go ahead and enter that in. Got it. All right. So moving on daily breakdown. That's the amount of electric I will burn per day. I did some math here to figure that out. You don't have to, you can get that right from what to mine. It will do the math for you. 
Next, this is the amount of revenue I will take in this rig per day. Okay, this does not take into account my electricity costs, almost $18. If I uh, subtract out my electricity that I'm going to use, I will make $15.62 in profit per day. And this is the number we're going to utilize to calculate our break even. First thing we're going to do is look at the classic break even number. And this does not take into account the resale value of the cars. This just takes into account this number. So to make up that amount, it will take me 166. 0.5 days or was that five and a half months which guys <laughs> if you're just getting into mining that is a fantastic break even i remember looking at several years when i would uh, be looking at new cards so what a time to be alive um okay but it's going to look even better when you take into account the resale value and this number here 51 days is how long it will take to make up this $800, right? So in 51 days, what I'm saying is I could sell all my GPUs for $300 and walk away and not have lost or gained a dime. That's really important. How good does that feel to know that in under two months, as it stands right now, you could liquidate everything and walk away. It makes that risk feel not so bad. And that's what's really important. And I think that's what separates GPU mining from ASICs or FPGAs. Or we'll take an ASIC, for example. you got to look at this number. Because that ASIC is likely going to be worth absolutely nothing after a year or two years or three years or certainly four years. And a GPU is going to hold value because it exists beyond mining, right? People mine with them, of course, but people use them for other things, gaming, computations. It will hold value. It is an asset, a piece of hardware you can hold in your hand that will have value beyond today, beyond a year, beyond two years, certainly. That's why it's really important to take that into account. And if you're going to make decisions to invest, you know, several thousand dollars into building a rig, you got to know, and it's certainly going to put you at ease that in under two months, you'll have, you'll be able to say, you know what, this isn't for me. It didn't work out. I can't maintain this. I want to get rid of it all. And in under two months, you could liquidate everything you have and walk away with a lesson learned and no money lost. It also is super helpful to know that after 51 days, everything you're going to do is going to be in profit, right? Because then you get to the point where I could liquidate everything and walk away with money that I made. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. I really never see anybody talk about break even considering resale. It's always this other number and it can scare some people away. This is exactly what I look at when I'm making decisions to buy invest in rigs. I mean, that's what I'm doing right here. This is a rig I absolutely want to build. And these are the numbers that I want to look at. I'm going to leave a copy to this spreadsheet in the description below. Please customize it exactly as you like. It'll do all the math for you. Just use the resources like I did in this video. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe for more stuff like this. And uh, listen, guys, please take care of yourself. It's a, it's a crazy year coming to an end, but take care of yourself. Um, please take care of each other. I'll see you guys in the next video.